to info section 2019-2020, the name reflects its two purposes. It is an information session um, where we'll talk about FES expectations and how and when to access your grant and what are the materials you need for the project. And it's a reception. It's a celebration. It's a formal awarding of the grants and a chance to recognize, congratulate, and thank you. It's also for the first time a chance to, to video you, so we have Ryan here doing that for the first time. And our thanks to your heartfelt thanks. We know how hard you work. Your FEF project means you've taken on something additional. That's impressive, and we're proud to be part of it. This year, we're extra proud that you and all of us together are part of what FEF is calling the MDY, the millionth dollar year. Going into our 14th year, between larger grants and new grants, we funded 600 projects and over a million dollars. So you're part of this milestone, um, and this wonderful milestone is attributable to several. It's attributable to generous and committed donors who believe, as we do, that strong schools mean strong community and that what you are doing is foundational to democracy. It's attributable to people in this room, um, lots of you, and some of you who couldn't be here today, to the educators and the administrative team that supports them. Lori and Sonia and Anna are here from the central office. The principals are here. Lisa Krauss from the central office is here, um, and thanks to all of them. To the amazingly wonderful FEF team, the board and committees and staff who work all year long so hard to make this happen. And I'd like to introduce you to them. Can I ask the board to stand, please? Thank you. And just give away as you say your name. Jane I. Frady, Alan Jacobs, Elise DeGroote, Lynn McNaught, John Collins, Pat Harcourt, who am I not seeing? Janet Totten. Janet. Janet! Yay! And Alma Hall. Gloria. Yeah, but that's what I'm Okay. We'll get to Gloria in one second. Tom. Tom. Tom Lee Tom Lee Tom. 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 Yes, and Tom Lee Way in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Board. I'd also like to introduce you to uh, Meg Buckman. <coughs> Many of you have been in touch with Meg, who holds She's us excited. together in her job as office administrator. Come and wave, Meg. And if you have done that, you know how knowledgeable and how helpful she is. Now, some of you who have stood once are going to stand again. And this will be tricky, because three of the people that I want you to know are back in the entrance, Alpha. because this is the program, subset of the board plus a couple other people. And it's really important for you to see them and know them because among them there'll be your project liaisons. Many of you know that every project has a liaison and your liaison is printed in the program next to your project, and that is the contact person for your project. And they'll contact you in the fall to set up a visit, if there are questions, concerns, obstacles, zigs and zags that you didn't predict, it's that person who will help you problem solve. So um, those people, and just you don't have to stand again if you don't want to, but back there is Phil Alitalo, who you haven't met, and Tom Liebach, who is on the board, and Gloria Borgesi. And then the board members um, on the program committee are Lynette and Joanne and Alan and, and Pat. So, you're up to. This year's MDUI crop includes 38 projects, 15 continuing, 22 new, for a total of $116,737. We funded, fully or partially, 100% of proposals. Sometimes, as you know, that meant follow-up conversations with you. So we all could be sure the proposals were clear and met our guidelines. That support will continue 
as your liaisons are ready to listen and problem solve anything that comes up during the year. So there are 38 primary grantees, probably the ones who wrote the proposal, but including all co-applicants and participating teachers, the number's over 80, which is impressive. <laughs> Your funded classroom activities and professional development activities will impact hundreds and hundreds of students. Many, as we know, will remember these learning adventures for the rest of their lives. Because of your projects, our students will have the chance to be inventors, poets, artists, naturalists, entrepreneurs, performers, close and fluent readers, exhibit curators, even curlers, and bicycle repairers. They'll interact with professional composers and scientists, filmmakers and actors, historians and painters. They will experience the excitement of using cutting edge technology and also the joys of turning off devices and stepping out into nature or being able to follow their favorite characters through an entire series of, uh, an entire book series. They'll be able to choose classroom seating that aligns with their learning styles and they'll have mentors and materials to support communication skills, self-confidence, wellness, and academic focus. What gifts these are for our students, and what lucky students they are to have you. And what a lucky organization FEF is to partner with such educators and with such a very, very generous community. So let's award those grants. And after, we'll tell you how to access the money. We're going to ask you, as we have in the past, to come up by school, and then we'll do the awards by project. Each of you will get some FEF swag. If you're a new grantee, you will have received your FEF hat or check-in. All past grantees will already have gotten one. Wear it proudly, or if you're not a hat person, give it to someone who will show it. Uh, you'll get a pin. If you already have one on, um, on your ID landing, <coughs> add this one to it. This is a new design for our MDY. And you'll get a certificate. Please display it and let visitors to your classroom know what it is. These are all ways to thank and recognize you, of course, but our, our, our ulterior motive is that you are today officially deputized as part of our PR team. <laughs> we want to make sure everyone in Falmouth and beyond knows what FEF is, and we need your help. So talk it up, tell your students and their parents. If your um, project is covered in any way in the press, Please make sure that FEF is acknowledged. Support the Falmouth Flag Day 5K race from which FEF, FEF benefits. The info is on the back of your program. And Lindsay Benson, a grantee this year, is co-director of uh, the race, so she'll have um, information. Attend and let your classroom parents know about our um, project showcase on October 1. These are all ways that you can really help us get FEF um, in the forefront in our town. And now the awards. So to hand out the materials which mark the official awarding of the grant is a retired teacher in the department head who continues to make us all better at what we do. Those of you who have worked with her know what I mean. She's a past FEF grantee, a current FEF board member, and chair of the FEF program committee, and she's Joanne Hall. <laughs>
as teachers, you can all appreciate that we had some technological issues just before the performance. Um, we came yesterday and rehearsed, and everything was just perfect. And we came back today to get set up, and the desktop that runs the machine screen behind here no longer works. Um, but you know, we we kept our you know, concern to a minimum because we've been in school when things like this have happened, and so we just rolled with it. So hence the chords, we are worried about tripping, so just be careful. Um, next up, Fallon High School, Mary Gans is principal. So Fallon High School, come on down. I think I failed to mention that Justine Dale is principal of East Fallon School, and I announced East Fallon, so I want to give a shout out to Justine. <laughs> And grantees are Corinne Adams, the Seed Pot Study, Inspirations from Form, Texture, and Harmony, Jane Baker and Lauren Kenny, Transcend Artists, a Mindful Approach, Jane Baker and Lauren Kenny, Presenting Naturalists, Christine Brothers, Sarah Cox, Pat Tapillo, Mike Feeney, and Judy Laster for Falmouth High School Film Festival, Sarah Cox, Shelley Avro, Aaron Griffin, Dara Kasparian, Stephanie Morrison, and Daniel Phipps for Shakespeare and Company Performance, Macbeth. Um, Nancy Fitzgerald, Dennis Ash, Scott Crocker, Caitlin Hackett, Kathleen Jefferson, Miguel Zamora for Farm to Table. Heather Goodwin, Exploring Evolution at the Harvard Natural History Museum. Daria Kasparian, Dionysia. Cheryl Milliken, Professional Development at the National Marine Ecology Association. And Caleb Heard and Steve Edwards, Rehearsal and Performance Techniques.
Megan Anderson taking a bite out of the Mako space. <laughs> Anne-Marie Iandoli, adapted trade books. Jill Mazur, 21st Century Classroom. Thank you.